I just just a quick one. Nothing important here. I was just going to show you my new machine, first one for the year. The purpose of this is to create a shielded iron frame uh, to take care of the hysteresis problem, magnetizing frames. Uh, this is why Dan Fowler created the fusion machine, even though that failed. But uh, basically, so iron frames don't become magnetized from the coils. Uh, I want to show you how you can create a shield. Basically, he's talking about how the flux comes off the coil and that field permeates the frame. And a iron frame, for example, like here, the rear coil will permeate the rear frame here and the front coil will permeate it on the side. And after a while, that field magnetizes the frame and being that the metal frame, the iron frame is your yoke. Uh, once it saturates, it breaks that down and then it the power runs out in your machine because it runs like you don't have a yoke. Uh, so that's why people use the aluminum because that's non-magnetic. So what I did just as a project, uh, I used an iron bulldog frame and I built it to be uh, shielded, uh, magnetic shielding. Uh, wrap this and this, the rear and the side, with uh, some copper wire. And that's used to create a separation barrier. I'm not sure if you can see. Get an angle in there. I don't know if you can see that plate that's in between there. You can probably see this one pretty easy. But what you do is you wrap this with aluminum or copper, or you can just use a, a plate of aluminum or copper, something non magnetic to create a separation, a, a buffer. Then you put a ferric or metal plate, some flashing plate there. And what happens is th as the flux comes off the coil, it gets attracted to the plating. And then that plating is separated from the frame by the copper. So therefore it won't transfer to the frame. So this way you can use an iron frame all day long. I ran this thing for six hours pretty much straight. Uh, no hysteresis issues. Uh, this is a color machine. It's set up more like a color packer slash shader. Not so much a color packer, just a color machine. It's about a four millimeter which is just over a nickel. So you can use it for shading or color. Uh, medium gap, so that's medium tension. I got that at 400, four millimeters. Uh, you can see down inside there, I wrapped the coils, there's no covers. And then I wrapped them together just for looks to match the frame. It runs on seven volts. And I will be building two more machines so that I can show you uh, I'm wrapping some coils over here, some mini four layer coils uh, for a side by side project and I'll show you that the same time I finish my other one, which I'm not going to disclose just yet, but I'll show you some cool stuff about coils with the next one. So that's that. That's my first one. First of the three that I'm building right now.